If you've been looking for a way to expand your presence on Instagram, you want to reach a wider audience, you want to grow your followers, you are watching the right video for you. I have been able to grow my personal brand from zero to 95K and in a few days time, I'm definitely going to be eating the 100K mark. So I'm going to be sharing some of the tips. This is going to be the ultimate Instagram growth guide for you to grow your personal brand on Instagram the right way. So I'm going to be splitting this into four different segments and I'm going to be explaining um, some key points or some steps that you need to take under this different segment the first segment is to optimize your profile for success a lot of people you hear I'm sure you've heard about profile optimization when it comes to Instagram there are some key things you need to note when it comes to optimizing your profile for you on your Instagram account or for your Instagram account or for your brand or for your business the first one is your profile picture now one thing I always do is most times I'm always like looking straight at the camera so i either keep like a straight face or i am smiling in the picture so it, de it depends on my mood for but most of my pictures there's always like a straight face to the camera or i'm either smiling and it depends on what you're trying to depict for your brand or your business you want to make sure that number one your picture is clear you want to have an edge shot if you're showing your face you don't want to have like a full picture of, of you standing on your profile picture no 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 you don't want to do that you want to have like a clear edge shot showing exactly what um what your brand is all about so if it's your personal brand you want to have a picture of you smiling looking straight at the camera or you keeping like a straight face like your resting beach face i always say like okay let me now be serious or your resting serious face okay now if you have like a business or a brand you want to make sure that you put your logo and most times you can change your logo depending on what campaign you're running so for example during christmas time we see most of the brand logos that we know having like a christmas hat on it or having christmas decorations around it you want to always make sure you change your profile picture relating to the campaign if you don't want to do that leave your static logo there and not touch your logo for a very long time until maybe like you're doing like a rebrand or something another thing is your bio you want to craft a compelling bio that tells people what it is that you do or who the people you are serving or the people you want to serve on instagram now a lot of people don't know what they write in their bios for me i, I just write something about okay i am the billionaire god sponsors jesus left the 99 to find me you definitely know that when you read my bio i am basically like a christian if you're reading my business bio you're seeing something like okay i am helping you use the social social media the right way or something around like i'm building the next generation of social media managers globally so you want to be able to tell who you serve what you do when i say building the next generation of social media managers globally you definitely know i am serving social media managers and what am i doing i am building them so that makes it you know that okay definitely balaji is kind of like a coach you get so you want to make sure that your bio is compelling and actually states what it is you do and who exactly it is that you serve but three is your username and your handle now i always tell people try as much as possible to avoid underscores in your handle or dots if you can do without having underscores in your handle or dots please do there are different ways you can put um there are different ways you can avoid doing that by adding um articles is it called articles yeah like that like, by adding like um things words like t-h-e d social media or the way i have the social media or the bolaji billions d or your bolaji billions your social media or you get it just makes it if let's say social media or guy is taking now the social media or you definitely see if that one is taking your social media or do you get if possible it's very very good that or you use your full name at least even if somebody somebody when i wanted to use bola g billions i saw somebody already took the name what did i do i just added an extra s and i was able to find that particular handle also you want to make sure that your username is consistent on all social media platforms i am using balaji billions for my youtube my personal youtube channel i'm using it for my instagram youtube channel i'm using it for my tiktok youtube channel i also have a tiktok um tiktok um did i say tiktok youtube channel <laughs> At tiktok tiktok page i also have the social media orga page on tiktok i have the social media orga page on instagram i have the social media orga handle on youtube 
everything is consistent so you want to make sure for everything that you're doing on every single social media platform your username is consistent because trust me most of these platforms intertwine for example tick on tiktok you can actually um link your instagram account and for example if your instagram handle and your tiktok handle is not kind of the same you're, you're getting to confuse people what i do is the same profile picture the same bio or almost the same thing depending on the number of characters allowed in this bio is what i would use so you want to make sure that you have a consistent and consistent username on all the social media platforms you are on and please if you can avoid underscores or dots or different other numbers and everything except if your brand is bearing something like 26 digital like one of my friends brand is bearing please please avoid using um all those other um icons or symbols number two thing is creating engaging content now creating engaging content is crucial for you to expand your audience or reach the target audience that you're trying to reach and to also make money so there's some things you need to note when it comes to creating engaging or, um content it's not just um how i say it, having like a content calendar no yes having a content calendar might be part of it but there's some key things that you need to note when it comes to creating content that your audience will genuinely engage number one you need to know who your audience is so when i started creating content on balaji billions i noticed that um i was just creating i was going with the flow but then i realized that i need, needed to curate and see who majority of my audience were so i started posting about being single being a single christian girl and i saw that people actually interacted and could relate with this kind of post and that was when i discovered that okay you know what my target audience is mostly people that are single and are so christians and are also waiting on the lord so when you know who your audience is it will be easy for you to create content that they will engage with because that is what that is something that they are going through or a face that they can relate with at that particular stage of their life so even if i want to sell a product maybe i want to sell like a bible plan or i want to sell like a bible study guide for people that are probably in their waiting season and everything i probably will sell because i have been able to know who my target audience is and if you're able to know who your target audience is you're on your way to actually expanding your audience and all ultimately growing your instagram followers number two under this segment is consistency now consistency is key but content is queen now we've talked about knowing um the knowing your audience and creating content and everything consistency i will always say is not posting every single day so i don't post every single day one thing i always do is i post when i can I am sure that I am going to be available to engage on my page. So consistency is something that you have to keep doing if you want to grow your Instagram followers because that's when people will be able to take you serious and say, okay, you know what? If I come up, everybody tells me most times when I post like in the mornings by eight, anytime I'm going through something, I just see, but I know that I will come to Instagram and I definitely see Balaji on the timeline because she, Balaji has something that I need. Balaji has like um balaji is going to always be there to cater to my needs so you want to always be consistent you don't want to look like this lackadaisical person that has a lackadaisical attitude to things because except if maybe you make money on another platform if you work in social media and you're very serious about growing your instagram account you want to be consistent you don't have to show up every day but you just have to show up when you say you're going to show up so if you say i'm going to show up mondays wednesdays and fridays please show up mondays wednesdays and fridays i've already the same way i show up once a week on youtube and sometimes twice a week that's that's me being consistent and you can stay consistent and one of the ways to grow on instagram is by staying consistent because that's when your audience will take you serious the third thing in this segment is to use captions strategically now a lot of people say oh people don't read captions that's a lie i have seen a lot of times where people enter my D um, dms and say oh you made a mistake oh you missed out on this one oh and I mean, people read captions you but you need to write captions that they can relate to so you need to know how to strategically use captions maybe we're going to have like a youtube video explaining how exactly you can write captions but then you need to be intentional about your caption it doesn't have to be a very long one it can be very short but also meaningful and relate to that content also you want to use relevant hashtags to your 
um, post. A lot of people, you see them using hashtag explore, hashtag explore page, hashtag viral. It won't work. It's not relating to your post. Except, except if you're talking about maybe the explore page or you're talking about virality. That's what. But you want to use keywords that are probably in your caption or maybe if you did a carousel in your design or maybe a picture of maybe you're selling like a bag you want to use um hashtags that actually relate to that post because that's when the algorithm will now be able to push it to people that would um how will i say it engage with that post maybe followers or even push it to the explore page we're going to talk about the algorithm maybe sometime later because instagram just released a new algorithm i need to break it down into a youtube script for you guys after i've been able to digest because i've not been able to understand a lot of it but yeah that is how you can you grow your followers by using captions because then when when you write captions that people can relate to they tend to leave a comment and when they leave comments it tells Instagram that people like your post. It's telling Instagram that you are keeping people on their platform. So they will now push your content to more people. And that's how you get to grow your followers and get to reach newer audiences. If you're still watching, please, and you're new here, please and please and please don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell because I am your bestie that will help you use social media the right way. The third segment is using Instagram features. Now, there are a lot of Instagram features that you need to use, but there are some that are very, very important. And there are some that you need to, no, not some, you need to use all Instagram features strategically. Number one is the Instagram stories. A lot of people are sleeping on their Instagram stories. I get nothing less than um, 2,000 views every single day on my Instagram stories. And that's because I always tell a story. Instagram stories is not just for reposting posts. It's about telling stories. Maybe you can just pop in there and talk about your day, how your day is going, something you experience, something that you're thinking of, um, or maybe reacting to a news or reacting to an event. But you always want to have context when it comes to your stories. Most people like watching my stories, especially when I like go out because I'm always carrying them along on my day. So you want to be able to tell stories that when people read them, um, watch your stories, they'll be like, okay, but like you went from this point to this point and you want to also use stickers you want to use sliders you want to use emojis you want to add music to it like seriously instagram provided you with these features for you to use so stop sleeping on them because when you start using these features people get to interact with your stories and instagram sees that you are keeping people on the app because that's the only way you can grow if you are keeping a lot of people on the app meaning that they are engaging with your posts they're liking they're sharing they're commenting on your stories they're reacting to your stories instagram gets to see that okay let's push this person's content forward and when they push your content forward that's when more people get to see you and get to follow you the second part in this segment is reels and video content a lot of people are sleeping on reels like i've seen and now you get to see people that follow you from reels every single day i've been getting nothing less than 100 followers from my reels you want to be able to use reels and also post you can also every video on instagram is now reels because instagram has discontinued igtv but one thing you want to do is you want to be intentional about what you're posting you can jump on trends you can jump on the latest trends instagram has made it easy for you to like um, use templates that people have already created before use them in your own videos to jump on trend so you can see okay which one relates to your brand which one relates to your business and start jumping on those trends by using reels and also if you've been thinking of okay i want to post more than um, a lot of people have been asking me how do i post like my two minutes or three minutes long reel what you can do is just go to post and click on it and put in your video you'll be able to like reduce or like you'll be able to cut the video and maybe minimize or increase and everything and then it posts as a longer reel that's how you post you need to be able to use video content because now everybody is doing video twitter is doing video linkedin is doing video instagram is doing video youtube is doing video and you can easily repurpose this content so for example if you've created like a reel you can repurpose it as a tiktok and a youtube shot you can also repurpose it as a pinterest pin meaning that you don't have to create fresh content every single time and all this also helps you like reach new audiences audiences of on different platforms so you want to make sure that you're not sleeping on instagram reels you're using instagram reels every single day or the days that you can because i said consistency is not posting every single day the next one is engaging with your community now a lot of people post and ghost 
you want to make sure you are engaging with your community you are replying comments you are liking their comments if people tag you on your stories you are um, maybe they tag you on their stories you are reposting it like if the ones even the ones that they don't repost now you can see anybody that shares your post on instagram apart from the people that share it to like their close friends but if you see them share it and everything you can always like react if you want to to the ones that you can you don't have to react to all but you want to always constantly engage with your community another way to engage with your community is responding to dms i know it can be overwhelming trust me my dms are full but from time to time when you have time respond to your dms reply them strike a conversation that's how you make friends trust me most of the friends that i have now is from having conversations in the dm so respond to comments respond to dms like videos that's how you build your community there's also collaboration and influencer marketing and now instagram has made it easy so if somebody hits you up in the dms that's why i said engage with you um engaging with your community responding to dms i said okay but like let's collab on a post you can actually do a collab post together and now i'm i'm hearing that three or four people can do collab posts together that will show up on every single person's feed so you can actually collaborate with other people to actually tap into their audience so you can have like a collab post on both pages and this will help you gain access to their own audience and they will also gain access to your own audience because it's not and you can only collab with people that are that their profile is public if your profile is private it might be very hard for you to build your personal brand because what are you hiding that's what most people will say and it might not be easy for you to collaborate with others so you want to make sure that your your profile is not private make it public if you're very intentional about growing your page the last but not the least segment i said four i actually was five right i mean what did i say yeah <laughs> well this is the fifth one is analyzing your strategy now a lot of people you might not know you might say oh i don't have a big document talking about the strategy but one thing you're doing with all the steps that i've said from segment one to segment four is a strategy that you are incorporating but you want to also analyze what's working what's not working how many people visited your profile how many people liked your post how many people shared it how many people commented how many people asked questions the link clicks the website visits these are the things you need to measure and you need to take note of when you are checking your analytics it is not just about followers it is about the impressions you get the reach you get the shares you get how many people are visiting your profile how many people are clicking on those links that you say oh go to the link in my bio how many people are actually going to the link in your bio and clicking on those links to buy something or require for your services require for your services or actually just go through it how many people these are the things that you need to track you don't need to just track your likes you don't need to just track your follows you don't need to just track your shares another thing you want to track is your saves how many people are saving that post to come back to it later a lot of people do that i save posts to go back to it later it might not be Im immediately but i save posts for something i want to buy or something i want to make and save it and go back to it later also you want to test and refine so if you've track your analytics and you see that okay this thing is working maybe you test it again and if it works again then you will now refine the content in a new way that it doesn't look like okay you are repurposing that content so for example for somebody like me that works in me most times when i make a reel i make it also into a post it's not just um about making a reel so i made two videos concurrently so i talked about how to study your bible using the soap method the next thing i posted again was another reel explaining the soap method in detail like i just wrote it like I, didn't, I think it was like a seven second reel and everything you can also repurpose your content immediately but you need to test and refine and see which one works and i got to find out that people loved the longer two minute video than the seven second video so i am I, I did another one that actually people that one was close to three minutes and people watched it more than they did the seven second video so trust me i won't be doing a second seven second video again i will stick to my long form two minutes three minutes video so that people can actually continue what continue watching my videos congrats we've come to the end and i know you've written a lot because now you know the ultimate guide to building your social media account trust me it's not been a roller coaster some posts will fail some posts won't do well some will go viral i have like two videos one is on four million one is a three million three million views like reels and everything the likes are crazy 
crazy but i am so grateful because i test and refine okay what's working what's not working these are my ultimate steps for you to grow your instagram account in 2023 if you found this video helpful please don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share this video with someone that needs to see this turn on the notification bell and i'll see you guys in my next video bye